And here we are, back at it again at the Blizzard Trading Hall. Let's go. Uh, so it's working. All right. This is great. Okay. Anyway, it's me, Freddy Grasper. Oh, oh. At it again. Working, working. Lots, I guess. I didn't get more brothers inside here, though, so I think that's what we're going to do next. But before we do that, we might as well check on the box. So, sure, like I said, I did touch on the corners. In the corners, as you see momentarily. Here's the picture of the first quarter of the first corner I took, and it took its coordinates right over there. And it, then it went all the way to the other side and got the second corner. It took those coordinates over there. So, assuming nothing has changed, hopefully, it's been a week since, since I've done this actually. So, hopefully, nothing has changed. What's this over here? Is this always here? Why is there a button? Does it connect anything? Hold on. I just decided just wanted to turn back to see if it happened. And yeah, well, it's not box related, but it is somehow related somehow. There's a button here. I don't know what it does or why it's here. But it's something. What else is strange? That's it? <laughs> That's it? Nothing else? Just a button. That's strange. I'm kinda tempted to see what it does. Well, it seems I might rather not. I'll deal with this later. Right now, I gotta check on the. I gotta go check on the box. All right, first corner. Let's. All right, first corner. Let's do this. All right, first corner. Let's do this. Hmm. Yep. Nope. Same. State the exact same thing. Corners. Okay. What about the other area? Okay, so corner. Let's do this. No, this one also stay the same. All right. So it's the same for both of them. Okay. So they're not moving. Okay, that's good to know. Anyway, still though, why are they still here though? If they're not moving, are they getting bigger? At what's the point? Also, I just noticed that. What's this over here? What the heck happened here? Ow. Is this a house? I just thought I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed. I was taking the corner. I, I saw this. Like, oh, okay. But now that I look at it. It's a house. Is someone living here? I don't want to intrude on whoever this property this might be. I'm just a little intrigued. Kind of looks like the wood of. Hmm. Oh, wait, was that a tripwire hook? Okay. I think that was a tripwire hook. Okay, good. It's the ears. But no, this wood seems familiar. Kind of like. Yeah, also the chest seems familiar. Kind of like the chest back at my place that has that had the strange book and whatnot. As if somebody just moved in here, next to wherever the other wherever the other person is. Weird. All right. Let's see how the let's see how the dripstone farm is working. Cause it's been a while. Like I've I've actually left this place loaded. So yeah, two of them move, and let's see what happens. Okay, we're actually starting to produce one of dripstone. Yeah, I was I was debating on whether I should just tear this down and just, you know, manage it. But no, this one actually seems to be working pretty fine now. In a way. It is, does take very, very long. And you do have to keep the area loaded. But yeah. You didn't know, it's to, it's to get the clerics in. And also, I should probably get started on building on that enchantment area because I have so many enchantment books like library and I also have loads of enchantment books as well so I need to get started that right away you know the drill using two barrels to lure the villagers into the training hall surprisingly it was actually quite easy to level them up despite me not having much rotten flesh I was able to level them up buying wrestling from them and also using most of the gold I was able to find in my chests okay so is this like completely full full of villagers that want to you know make trades when I Actually, chainmail. Hold on. Do we have a full set of chainmail? Hold on. Even <laughs> a full set of chainmail would be amazing, or somewhat cool. Oh no. Okay, we don't have a full set of chainmail. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was hoping for like a for like a chainmail armor, I guess. What's chain plating? Okay. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it can be craftable by using four iron ingots, of, four iron ingots, four iron ingots to make chainmail plating. <laughs> and no joke. Get this. You could actually use it to craft chainmail armor. 
that's eh, pretty decent. I mean, to be honest, I don't think anyone would use chainmail. I mean, the only person I know who would use chainmail is Poet. But that's because they're, they're that's because like any other armor, any armor but above that is too heavy for them, which is a shame. So if I wanted to, I could make a good set for each and every individual. You know, I'd be like a full di diamond armor, of course. Well, diamond armor <laughs> saved another right for me, I guess. Well, Lame has another right. They've gone through like various adventures before. But yeah, I have the opportunity to like every single armor for every single player. For those that are too heavy, I could just make up the chain now. I think that's it, yeah. That would be cool. But enough to that, I think I finally have the design idea for my enchantment setup. And by design, I mean I was just winging it at this point. One thing was for certain, I was going to use juniper logs as opposed to mahogany logs, just so that it'll better blend with the, with the maple trees as you're about to see later on. So I decided to put the floor, while also keeping to the original plan, where I would use the maple trees to lead into the enchantment area, as you're seeing right now. You'll also notice that I'm leaving some holes in the walls. That's because I just had the, an idea as I was building this, to like make a little rundown, seeing how the wood seemed old, I'll make a little more of a rundown field. You know, fill, fill it with dirt on the floor, and also put fences where the holes are. Just to make it look like, oh, it was here before, but now it's kind of deteriorating a bit, losing a little bit of its structure day by day. Yet somehow, it's still standing. You know, like those ancient builds you see in the ruins, whatnot. In fact, I decided to continue this with the roof, which which I decided to build with dark cypress logs to better match it with the, with the maple logs, as you'll also see later on. So yeah, the roof will be like holes open, but still cover you from certain weather areas. So yeah, that was my idea going in. Now here's me putting the fence, and I'll see you when the build finally gets finished. Okay, not looking too bad. Good work. Like a little bit run down. Oh my gosh, put that lantern in place. And yeah, yeah, like I said, it was yeah, like I said, I was trying to do like a whole run down vibe thing. Like everything, you know, water done. As if like this thing was like here a while. I wanted to make it like as if this thing was here like a while ago. Those ports are barely hanging on. And, you know, part of it all going Even the ground is all deteriorating. <laughs> I might put some more decorative stuff over here, but yeah. Yeah, also if you're looking for the out from this angle, yeah, it does also sort of blend well. Like the dark, the dark cy cypress cypress planks sort of blends well with the maple logs, and so does this one juniper. Like a little lighter tone, as it's like this is turning into this one. Losing its colors, and I just turned into this one. Walked down a corridor, and the enchantment table right here. And it's like we're set to enchant. Well, new stuff, not old stuff. It's already been chanted. Look at the doors. <laughs> Look at the doors, yeah. You can tell the thing has a better places because the doors don't match. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. I would, yeah, I would have wondered about this side. Like, <laughs> Yeah, this side is kind of explained. Like, if you look at it from here, from this, from this angle, then it looks kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. But look at it from any other angle, it just seems like a little out of place. So I may plant some maple trees to to off center it, I guess, or like some random trees right here, just off center it. Or I can just do what grain does and just not worry about the back at all. Or mumbo. <laughs> and thus ends another day on Nava's and P. And I'm on. We still have this place yet to discover. Yeah, we're almost there though. We just have to get better gear. Even better gear. Maybe a few potions, maybe not, who knows. Someday we'll go over here. I don't know when, but someday. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know you guys in the comments section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Free to check out some other stuff in the meantime. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.